a big catfish in his mouth. No, it's tilapia. What's up, everybody? Blue Gabe. We are on Lake Okeechobee. Now, we woke up this morning and planned on filming for Kelly Young's channel. We've been out here for less than an hour and we've already filmed an epic video for her. And I got to looking around, I'm like, yeah, there's room for another video. There is cichlids out here by the thousands. So where we're at, we're in the tin house area, just inside the hard wall, which is about seven miles from Okatani, where we launch on the due north end of the lake. I came out here today to look for spawning bluegills and shell crackers. Well, guess what? It's a little early, they're not here. We started gigging Palecos on her channel. That's right. We filmed a huge alligator and she got right in the water and was hand spearing them with our Gator Pro gig. Leave a comment below if you've ever used one of those. Now watch this. Now, a lot of the times in my videos, I don't get into detail what we're using. Today, I'm using my old Salty. This is a 7.3, 8 to 17 pound, 3 8 ounce to 3 quarter ounce fast action. I have 20 pound Beyond Braid, which is the braid that I've been using now on all my rod and reels. And if you're interested in it, I'll leave it in the link below. And anytime you watch my videos, you can find these favorite rods in the link below, in the description below. And if you're watching a television, it's harder to do. But if you're on your cell phone, you just click right below the video and you can find it. Always following it. Oh, a big one. So if you're wondering why I'm doing two cichlid videos in a row, well, why not? You guys want to know a great, Look at that man, rod a great fishery? It does not get any better than cichlids. This joker is flat out pulling. I can't pull too hard because the beetle spin will actually break. Oh my goodness, this is a big one. Look at this bad boy. So my whole life I've grown up catching bluegills and shell crackers on the lake. And about 15 years ago, these cichlids started taking over. And to me, they're not really for say hurting our native species, but they definitely are taking up some of our spawning grounds where these native species live. Well, guess what? These jokers, are bigger and just as good to eat. So in my opinion, it, it, it's not the greatest thing in the world, but they're here. They're not going anywhere unless all of you guys come out here every day with me and we start catching them by the thousands, they're here. So let's take advantage of it, start catching them, start eating them, and maybe we'll just deal with it. Snakehead's the same. I love eating snakeheads. But this fishery, you can bring your kids out here I wade. I wouldn't recommend wading with your kids. I do allow my kids to wade, but we're right up against each other. Last year, I brought Sarah, deer meat for dinner's wife, who's my brother, Robert Arrington, and we did a wading video with the kids, and they will have a blast. They will literally catch a fish every cast. I'm going to throw him on ice, and we're going to catch another one. Should we give him a sneak peek of yours? Yeah. Oh, Jesus. Now, Kelly, when I first started dating her, She's a shark activist. She really loves sharks. That's her passion. She's not very big into hunting. Oh my goodness. I have opened up a can of worms, y'all. A deer's not safe. A turkey's definitely not safe. A hog. And now anything she can gig. Look at that. She filled the cooler in 10 minutes. She also puts in the time. She helps with the camera. I help with hers. She doesn't complain and we get the job done. And y'all are here to watch. Whoa. Call me fat. Tip, you almost tipped the boat over. <laughs> Let's see if we can get two casts in a row. Yeah, on the same clip. Let's go. Third cast is usually a charm. Oh. Oh, he's thumping it. Come on. So right now they're spawning. They're in here on all these beds and they don't want to. Oh, oh, there you go. They don't, they don't want to leave their beds. Look at the big mullet. That's the crazy thing about Lake Okeechobee. There is snook in this lake. It's completely fresh water. There's no way for salt water to get into this lake. There's mullet, there's snook. I've heard of Jack Carvel's getting caught. All these cichlids. This one's a little small, I'm gonna turn him loose. My Pro Drives 1856 is great for this. It chops through this veg vegetation. vegetation like nothing you've ever seen. 
come out here you will have a blast oh he thumped it come on oh there you go three casts in a row unedited look at that oh and he unhooked himself yeah one thing i will say when i first bought this airboat before i put the sea deck on here was last summer you could not stand on the deck of this airboat now with the sea deck which i have on all three of my boats 85 90 degrees nothing but sun and you can stand on it and it'll get filthy dirty and all i do is put my pressure cleaner on light and spray it and it comes right out castaway customs oh featuring your foot yeah see castaway customs <laughs> I want to get another real big one though. We're going to fry these things whole. I've never done it before, but my favorite Mexican restaurant ever in Indian, in Indian, in Indian town, Florida, does it with tilapia. And I guarantee you these are better to eat than tilapia. Let's see if we can make a 10 minute video unedited. Yeah, an unedited 10 minute video. Voila! This one's definitely a keeper. Yeah. They're, these things remind me of grouper. Like they have the hey. the worst temperament. Don't let them get away. They are feisty. Put him in the cooler. Now my airboat, in case you're wondering, is a Diamondback 15.6, and I had it decked over. That way I can put all my camera gear, the coolers, everything below. So when we travel out of town, I can lock it, and you don't have to put everything in the truck. It's got a 580 horsepower LS motor, which is pretty much the same motor in a Corvette or the new Cadillacs. And it is strong. She goes pretty fast. My first airboat had a light combing in it, which is an aircraft, aircraft motor. Come on. Eat it. Oh, he followed it all the way up. Dun -dun 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 -dun. There's three of them following it. All right, so I had to make one cast without getting them. Here we go. <laughs> the struggle. Oh, there's obviously right out there about 30 feet, there's a bunch of beds because they keep whacking it. Mm -hmm. All right, so I think I've caught most of those or hooked them at least and they've came off. We're going to move for a second. And don't go anywhere because in just a minute, I'm going to take you all for a ride and show you just how beautiful this lake can be. We're just where the main lake meets the marsh. From here that away is all marsh. I think it's like four miles to the levee. Hogs, deer, Steve Price, old team real cowboy in the house. He killed a gobbler this year on the levee itself. One more cast and we'll move. All right. I wanna find a hog. They're probably snoozing. It's pretty hot out we here. We need to bring Lull, who we filmed the hog hunting video with, with his dogs and catch him. Oh, yeah. That was fancy. So if you're wondering why I have power poles or what are, what are, what is a power pole, should I say? They're a shallow water anchoring system that's literally revolutionized the fishing industry. Watch this. Boom. I don't have to make any no I don't have to make any noise with an anchor. I'm hung. It's just it makes your life so much easier, even at the boat ramp. <laughs> That's what he said. Oh, come on, they're hammering it. Look at him. <laughs> oh. oh I'm telling you, bring your buddies, bring your friends, your kids, your family and come to Lake Okeechobee and catch these. Anywhere around this lake, it's 37 miles across, but anywhere around this lake where you can find shallow, clear water, you will find these things. And if, wow. if you like to eat fish, they don't get any better as far as a freshwater fish. But they're hard to hold on to if you haven't noticed. I've dropped the last three. Man, they're spiky. So one of the things that Kelly and I and my brother Deer Meat and all other YouTubers deal with 
is content. We sometimes get bored of the same thing or we think, well, our fans don't want to see that. We've already done it. In reality, all of our videos, including my brothers and any other YouTuber, almost 24% of our views are made up by subscribers. That means the other big chunk is non-subscribers. So we can make, uh oh, here's a native fish. Yes. We can make the same video three or four times in a row and literally every time new people will watch it. And that's how we build our subscribers. Little female bluegill. Cute. And I try to, if I am going to do the same video back to back or in the same month, I try to do it in a different place or a different style. I want to I mean, bring, bring my mom out here and my kids, my dad. Maybe even some, we should probably find some fans to do this with. A little giveaway? Jeez. Look at the colors though. Look how vibrant that is. Oh. Do, do, boo. There we go. Look at that. <clears throat> now, I want you to check out Kelly's video because we just filmed one of the best. I think we filmed for her. We've got every angle covered, drones in the water, above the water. She films a massive alligator. Oh, it's a pretty good one. What do you? What was that? A mullet? Yeah. They're all oh, over. Oh, there they are. He's gonna jump again. Dang it! Why are they camera shy? Well, if I was a betting man, they don't know you're over here filming. <laughs> yes, they do. I'm gonna get a mullet. I will get one before the end of this day. The mullet are hard. They ain't slow. Now, when the lake drops a little bit you can get them. Mm. So we're sitting in about three foot of water, which is plenty enough to get an outboard style motor out here. But I suggest putting in, running out into the lake, coming down here and then coming in. With an airboat or my pro drive, which is a mud boat, it has a surface drive on it. You can run right through all this, all the way back to the truck. But if you're on an outboard, you need to run out into the lake, follow the edge down and come in. And he missed it. So if you're looking for a good bait shop or you want to come to Okeechobee, stop by Marathon Fast Break. It's right on the north end of Lake Okeechobee. The one thing that bothers Kelly and I and pretty much anybody that fishes, when you go to Bass Pro Shops, they don't have a bunch of anything. They have the most random things. They'll have trout fishing, like rainbow trout in our Florida one, which we don't have any rainbow trout. But if you go to Fast Break Marathon, I promise you they will have everything you need for anything you want to catch in South Florida. Can you see all the spots out here? How it's all dark brown and then you see light spot, light spot? Um, That's where all see. these fish are at. Oh, another couple weeks, there'll be hundreds of bluegills and shellcrackers in here too. And you don't need beetle spins to catch these. If you had just a the smallest split shot you could use to where you could be able to cast and you jerk an earthworm across these things, you're gonna catch them that way too. We also have earthworms in the cooler for plan B. Yeah. Every time we go fishing for anything, we try to have plan A, B, C, D, and E and F covered. Oh, he's got me in the junk. Mm. Where's he at? Coming in hot. Striped up too, boy. Like a white marlin or a striped marlin. Look at him. That's a big one. Little seaweed. <laughs> Okeechobee seaweed. And then in the comments below, y'all leave. If you have any ideas that you want me to do or something you want me to see or explain, you can go on my Instagram, at Blue Gabe, or Kelly's is Island Key. And ask us questions. I literally try to answer everybody. As long as it's a positive comment, I try to get back. All right, we have reinvented our little, what'd you call this thing again? Beetle spin. Beetle spin. We put a little worm on there. So I kept casting, they kept chasing it, and they were just ripping up the rubber. This time we're gonna get them with the real deal, the real worm right there. We ain't playing games now. Oh, see? Oh, Blue Gobby knows what he's talking about every now and then. Every now and then. Look at him go. 
Got him. Got him with the good old worm. Jake's gonna be so pissed we didn't let him skip school. What is today? Monday? Yeah. Yeah. Yesterday was Monday. Only YouTubers day. don't know what day it is. <laughs> this is true. We never know what day it is. This one's gills and mouth super, super pink. Yeah. Usually they're more orangey. This one's more pinky. I wonder how you can tell the difference between a male and a female. Do you know? The female probably talks way more. I don't know about that. You talk a lot more than me in a higher pitched voice. So as you can see guys, we weren't being sarcastic. This is such an amazing fishery. I wish I could take a bunch of you guys that fish like Lake Michigan and those up north lakes where you're catching smaller. Well, I say smaller. Y'all do catch some huge bluegills in red ears and whatnot, but bring you down here in South Florida with a pair of shorts on, a little teeny favorite rod and a beetle spin and bring you right here and let you guys catch these because they fight so hard we haven't even moved since we started this video we started the video right there guys we filmed kelly's entire video right there i want to go try to find some more wildlife birds gators, gators birds hogs whatever we can find all right real fast got him oh he's in the weeds that's a big one Oh, son. He's digging with his nose. He's like, dang, this worm fights hard. Oh, a mullet just jumped and I got it. Finally. Oh, he's doing it again. Yes. Look how pink the tail is on this one. Every, uh. They're hard to hold on to, aren't they? This is why I'm putting my fingers in the finger holding spot on a fish. Look at that hook set though. Boom, boom. Look at his little tooth. Hold on. His tooth, not not tooth. He tooth. looks like Luke? He does look like Luke. See his one little tooth? <laughs> Luke, this fish is for you. Toothless, <laughs> toothless. The mullet are, oh, oh did you see him? I got that one too. Finally, it's like. <laughs> Did you ever think Lake Okeechobee could be this beautiful from all the bad rap you hear on the news? Actually, yeah, no, you're right. Um, I never, I don't even think I've been on Lake Okeechobee until I met you. I, I just, in my head, from what I know off the news and people talking about it, it was just a big old lake in the middle of Florida and they like open the gates and a lot of pollution and algae comes from Lake Okeechobee. That's the only thing I ever knew about it. And alligators, of course. But then Blue Gay brought me out here and I'm like, dang, there's a lot to Lake Okeechobee and the water's crystal clear right here. How much trash have you seen? None. Yeah, how much trash do we see down from West Palm South? Oof. Disgusting. I, yeah. So much trash. And what was I gonna say? I forgot what I was gonna say. Don't worry, I'm sure you'll oh, come up with something oh. soon. And I just I did not know that Lake Okeechobee is like max depth 12 feet. 12 feet. Yeah, that's true. So Lake Okeechobee on the east coast and the west coast gets a bad rap. And people always say, oh, Lake Okeechobee's gross water. Well, what people don't realize is this water is coming from up north. Lake Okeechobee is just a staging area. And if we don't let it out in one way or the other, a lot of people say let it out down south. Well, if you pay attention and you don't follow the gossip, almost any time there's a flooding going on, the Everglades is so full that they can't even take any more water. The boat ramps will be closed down there. The tour guides can't give tours because it's already at max capacity. So they have to let the water east or west. Is it the greatest option? No, but it's the only option. They can't hold it because if this lake, you know, if the levees break, thousands of people will die and be stranded and it will not be good. So I'm not for them letting this water out, but in reality, it has to go out and they have to let it out in a certain direction. Now, U.S. sugar could hold a little bit more possibly, 
but we can't just point fingers because in life sometimes we got to figure out a solution not just blame it on this lake or that lake or this person or that person you guys lake okeechobee is crystal clear it's perfectly clean these fish are perfectly good to eat come here you won't be disappointed y'all check this thing out y'all wonder how we get some thumbnails so thumbnails to me are just like news media outlets. They're all about getting your attention. So my last video was a Mahi Mahi video and I used a picture of a giant one because if I would have used a picture of the three small ones, half of y'all wouldn't have watched. Even though it's not clickbait because it's a dolphin video, AKA Mahi Mahi, and a Mahi was in the thumbnail. I had to do something to get y'all's attention. So this is technically a how to catch with a beetle spin, clean with a Danko, and cook in the deep fryer with some spat with some tongs. This is how we got that thumbnail. Now I'm gonna show you how to cook this fish. So all I did was took a spoon and took his scales off. I did that outside so Kelly didn't kill me. Now I need to take this sharp knife and just score a couple slides in it like that. Slices, not slides, slices. A little bit of Lowry's garlic salt. And in here I have some seasoned flour. which is this stuff. I just bought it at Publix. I'm gonna shake it up. This fishery, like I was just telling Adam, our buddy Adam's right over here, he's been in some videos in the past. He's a South Florida resident, loves fishing out here. And I, like, I'm so stoked about these cichlids. They're so much fun to catch. He grew up catching shell crackers and bluegills and crappie. There's not many places you can go in the world, period, and catch a fish almost every cast on a beetle spin other than these cichlids and in Lake Okeechobee. They are down south but man I'm telling you I'm tired of fishing down there because of the trash. It's literally disgusting in those canals where all the peacocks live. Just shake off any excess just like so. He's gonna take his last swim. Well he might take one more swim if you know what I mean but this will be technically his last. 350 degrees. I had it at 366 because that fish is cold. It'll bring it right back down to 350 and we're good to go. And look at that. Took about five minutes. The little fin ended up somehow inside of him. See that salad? Oh, that's a trick that I learned at Lightsey's Family Ranch, except for he made it all by scratch. Look at that. I got the salad for $5 at Publix and it's everything that he made. I didn't have to do anything. Five bucks. I've got about six or seven dollars in the beetle spins. I don't know, a dollar in the flour. Look at that. You can catch this fish in any canal from probably Orlando South. You can do this recipe with any fish that you catch anywhere. All we're going to take is a little bit of this Japanese barbecue sauce. Look at that. All I did with these peppers, see these peppers right here? All I did was put them in the fryer for about two minutes. Just to add a little bit of flavor. Look at that. Hold up. I'm trying it first. I always let y'all try everything. I get to try this first. Come in here though and show them how nice and flaky that meat is. Look how it just falls off the bone. Ooh. You go to the nicest restaurant there is and spend as much as you want on a meal and you won't get one any better than that. Look at the skin. Perfectly crunchy. Mm. Of course, the tail. The tail is my favorite part. Babe, hey, are you saving some food for later? Was that on my lip? <laughs> no. You guys, let me tell you about Kelly Young. Everything I've done with her, she's hung with the best of us. She doesn't get scared. She swims with straight up. Watch this clip of this massive tiger shark. Yeah, how many of you guys would put your hand on that shark right there? Now let me tell you about a little teeny little spider. She'll come unglued, karate chop you in the throat, jump off the boat, and fight alligators because of a little bitty spider. Here, babe, trade me. Hmm. Okay. Don't make me whip out the popsicle sticks. Why do you even want to talk that way for? <laughs> Come here, Adam. I'm good. You gonna feed me? Yeah. <laughs> it. Keep going. Mm -hmm. 
It's funny because the last time Adam filmed with me, and I, I didn't even know it until he said, there's your bike. Come on, I thought you were going to feed me. I was going to. <laughs> I didn't know it and I didn't remember it. The last time he filmed with me was at Lightsey's Family Ranch when we fried a whole scamp grouper that we caught with blind date charters, and he made this cabbage salad. That's really good. Like, legit, this isn't me tooting my horn. If it tasted like crap, I would tell you that's an exotic fish. This is a barbecue sauce that we have no affiliation with, but they're probably wondering why they've been selling so much. Shout out Blue Gabe and Kelly Young. Like that meal right there, you can't top it anywhere in the world with any kind of fish or anything. And it's just an old trash fish swimming around Lake Okeechobee. I gotta go get the kids though. We gotta gear up for a new video. We got plenty of awesome things coming. Thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing. Check out Kelly Young's channel. My brother Deer Meat for dinner. He's uploading a video today. Probably one of the best YouTube videos I've ever been part of. Uh, bass fishing, frog catching, fish gigging on my pro drive. Deer meat for dinner today. Right now though, like Jake always says, it's time to get up out of here and get the heck out of shape.